part of the process of heading up the Ballard Canyon ABA? It was a great teamwork. Um, you know, we, we had actually all gone together for an event that we hosted for a bunch of sommeliers to come into Ballard Canyon. And it was through that, and I think one sommelier in particular is like, why don't you have your mm -hmm. own American viticultural area? So everybody mm -hmm. towards Point Conception. It's completely dominated by Pinot Noir mm -hmm. and Chardonnay, mm -hmm. right? And then you come over one little hill, mm -hmm. and we're entirely Syrah and Rhone oriented. Yeah. And then you come over the eastern border, and you get into you know a lot more Bordeaux varietals, a lot more Italian varietals. Um, and then when you all the way back to Happy Canyon, then you get into all the you know Cabernet. So do you think that um, works for us for Santa Barbara County wines having all those different? Uh, regions where we can produce all these different wines or do you think it's advantageous as a whole or do you think it kind of works against us if that people have a hard time defining who we are since we really do a lot of things well for Santa Barbara County mm -hmm. I think it's really important that we did divide up mm -hmm. the greater Appalachian of St. Inez Valley mm -hmm. um, and I didn't really understand the importance of that until we received our Ballard Canyon AVA mm -hmm. and when we began to put Ballard Canyon on our bottles um, I could tell the story of that identity to mm -hmm. Rhone varieties to kind of being in the middle where we do get high peak heat in the kind middle of the day. Kind of categorizes it for people so they right. can understand oh okay. And then what I learned was that by putting the greater Santinez Valley AVA on our label for it had been 20 years mm -hmm. at the time, that had kind of handicapped us because mm -hmm. people had no idea what to expect, right? Mm -hmm. Do you make Pinot Noir? Do you make Chardonnay? No. Mm -hmm. We're actually in this little other area where we grow Syrah. And it's like saying, we're a restaurant. We have right. food. Okay, great. What kind of food? Well, food. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, people want some indication. Are right. you, are you, what, you know, fresh local? Right. Are you Italian? Are right. You, you know, people are sure. Oh, yeah, restaurant. Yeah, that, cool. that makes sense. So with right. wine, that's why having this Los Libas District, Ballard Canyon, NBA, Yeah, and, and people Santa do Rita complain so as California continues to get divided up, right? Mm -hmm. We're definitely going in the direction of adding mm -hmm. more and more sub mm -hmm. You know, you look at Pastor Robles, and, you know, mm -hmm. I think they... Uh, recently uh, put in 11 new Appalachians. Really? Um, wow. And they're all different climates, but I think more importantly for Ballard Canyon, we're really differentiating on the actual varietal grapes that we're growing, mm -hmm. uh, especially relative to the best known growing mm -hmm. area in our county, Santa Rita Hills, mm -hmm. right? So I think it's really important to differentiate Ballard Canyon that we're doing completely different things in our little area. So today, Ballard Canyon, really throughout the world, like even in Asia and Northern Europe, we're known for Syrah, mm -hmm. which uh, I think is really compelling if you're a Salme in New York or Oslo, like, mm -hmm. you know, oh yeah, Ballard Canyon Syrah. Um, and it's really cool to have Santa that Rita worldwide. Santa Rita Hills Pinot. Right, yeah. Right. Um, and yeah, it's really cool to go around the world and have that identity and people are already aware of what you're doing. So. And you created that. That's so, um, you and the, the yeah, team just of other people, Michael yeah, Larner. And yeah, 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 Larner really got everybody organized. And yeah. Wes Hagen uh, wrote our application for us. So it was a, it was a you lot know, of big team. Dynamic effort. people there.